In this video, I want to go through some examples of using De Moivre's theorem. Um, so here's De Moivre's theorem up here. Now, I'm going to be working through these three examples. Now, um, the first one is bog standard. Uh, the next two require a little bit more thought and care. OK, so the first one, nice and straightforward then, cosine of pi over 8 plus i sine pi over 8 to the power of 4. So what you can do is you can just bring that 4 in and you'll have cosine of 4 lots of pi over 8 plus i sine of 4 lots of pi over 8. OK, so that's cosine of pi over 2 plus i sine pi over 2. Now, uh, cosine of pi over 2 is, of course, 0, and sine of pi over 2 is 1. And so you just get left with i. 0 plus i times 1. I. Right, number 2. Cosine of pi over 6, take away i sine pi over 6. Now, where the problem is, is with that minus sine there. OK? Now, the formula only works with that as being plus. So we need to adapt it. Now, if you'll remember back to the previous video where I proved um, the formula for negative uh, integer values of n, uh, I used the fact of cosine being an even function and sine being an odd function. So what I can do here is I can say to myself, well, cosine of pi over 6 is precisely the same as cosine of minus pi over 6. OK? And... Likewise, if I bring the minus sign in here, because sine is an odd function, I have plus i sine of minus pi over 6 to the power of 5. Now I've got the plus in the middle, OK? And now I can use my De Moivre's theorem. So I can bring those 5s in. So I've got cosine of 5 times minus pi over 6 plus i sine of minus, oh sorry, 5 times minus pi over 6. So cosine of minus 5 pi over 6 plus i sine of minus 5 pi over 6. So cosine of minus 5 pi over 6 is minus root 3 over 2. So we get minus root 3 over 2 there. And sine of minus 5 pi over 6 is minus a half. So minus 1 half i. OK? And so that is minus root 3 over 2, uh, take away 1 half i. Right, now this last one, this last one has the sine pi over 3 plus i cosine pi over 3, which is not the correct way round for De Moivre's theorem to work. So I can't go straight in and bring the sixes down uh, and do it that way. Not going to work. So how am I going to get around this? Well, there's a couple of alternatives. You can um, replace the sines with their alternative form in cosine and cosine with sine, likewise. Um, that requires you to remember those transformations. Um, the alternative, uh, which I think I prefer, um, is adapting it by um, thinking, OK, well, I could factor out the i from this. Now, that, that seems a little bit of an odd thing to do. So inside the bracket, I'm going to factor out i. Now, what would I need to multiply the i by? to get sine of pi over 3, OK? So I know i times i is minus 1. There's no negative there. So I'd have to have minus i sine pi over 3. And for this one, if I factor out the i, I've just got plus cosine of pi over 3 to the 6. So I've got i to the 6, and I'm going to rewrite that in this format, cosine of pi over 3, take away i sine pi over 3 to the 6. Now I've got this minus sign. I can use the same trick as I used up here for example number 2. So I've got i to the 6, 
um, cosine of minus pi over 3 plus i sine of minus pi over 3 to the 6. So I've got i to the 6 times, now I can bring the 6 in and use De Moivre's theorem, cosine of minus pi over 3 times 6, which is minus, pi, minus 2 pi, plus i sine of minus 2 pi. Okay. Now, uh, i to the 6, okay, if you want to do that, so i, i squared is minus 1, i cubed is minus i, i to the 4 is going to be 1, i to the 5 is i, so i to the 6 is i times i, which is minus 1. Okay, so this is minus 1 times cosine of minus 2 pi, okay, so um, that would be 1, and i sine of minus 2 pi, well that's 0, and so you just get left with minus 1. Okay, so that is minus 1. So what we're using here is the Moivre's theorem, but you've got to get it set up in the correct way in order for you to use it. So you've got to be careful with the questions that you're given to check that they're in the correct format before you can proceed.